please tell us about a, about yourself, including your name, where are you from, and what type of work do you do? So my name is Corey Meter. I'm from Reno, Nevada, originally from Northern California. Uh, I work as an emergency physician, and yeah. Please tell us about your program, the type of work you participated in. What was your average day like? Hours work assignment? So we got up early, early in the morning and went in uh, to the ER. Uh, and so it was kind of divided. The ER here is divided into a couple different areas where uh, there's kind of the trauma side and then the more medicine side and including observation for those that are not fully admitted into the hospital. So we would help in the trauma area doing lacerations because there is lots of uh, motorcycle accidents and small um, minor traumas. And then additionally round with patients that are admitted to kind of the ops area of the ER and uh, help with the, in, the internist there as far as just kind of management uh, where, where we can. What was the most challenging thing you, you experienced during this week you were here? So the most challenging thing is just to kind of see um, our place and just kind of having to kind of step forward and, and volunteer to help because they're not going to, uh, we weren't necessarily asked a lot for our insight, some by the by the students, yes, but uh, when we saw the opportunity to help just to kind of step forward and volunteer your services, so it's just, that was uh, the biggest thing, is just looking for those opportunities and, and stepping forward and helping. What was the most rewarding memory of this trip? So, the most rewarding, I, I, there were a few, I, I think that we really, um, there were a couple times that we actually saved people's lives. Uh, the, the intubation um, that was difficult, uh, there was the, the lady with the, the heart block that I don't think that had we not kind of fixed the uh, EKG machine that they would have realized that, we were, that she was actually in a third degree heart block and she probably would have gone home and probably gone to, into an, a fatal arrhythmia at some, at some point. <laughs> uh, do you have any suggestions or tips for volunteering in Honduras as a medical volunteer? What, what donations, supplies, or travel tips do you have? So I, I'm, I think that the kind of the simple things that they that they do need are, so are antibiotics. There are um, intubation medications. So really, kind of the more of the controlled substances as far as they're not there's there's a lack of medications for sedation, um, gloves, uh, a lot of uh, the surgical drapes were needed. Uh, they, as far as the big things, there will really make a difference, I think, here would be um, equipment. And I know that's kind of a harder challenge to get big medical supplies, but uh, ultrasound, uh, ventilator, BiPAP, a BiPAP machine here would be huge. Um, those, would, those, those would be the most helpful. Please give us your testimonial about international volunteering with a broader view. So it's been it's been great. The, um, the, the people that they've had on the ground here helping us have been wonderful. Uh, the, the program in this area is very new, so there are some challenges as far as the staff kind of knowing how to, in the hospital, knowing how to fully utilize us, uh, but the, uh, the people with the broader view here were wonderful in trying to uh, get us involved and arrange for us to be the most helpful that we can. Thank you.